Kal Halayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukah Kadash, Devil honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect. The Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, sincerity and truth, and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right, Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. <laughs> this is the brother Yarmaya from the great millstone Chicago camp. Basically, I'm just coming to you with another lesson, you know. This lesson is concerning um, this society, all right, and, and our people. Our people are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, all 12 tribes, one people, all right, the same father, Jacob, all right, and, and, and concerning our people in this society, but in, in a stronghold that Esau has had on them, all right, and this stronghold has been taken away through the truth, all right. That's why the Lord said in the book of Thessalonians, he's going to destroy him with the glory, with the brightness of his coming. And that's him, you know, waking up the elect, having us out here, we're preaching his word, condemning his place, and ultimately him actually destroying his place with the chariots of the Lord, which are the, the, the so-called UFOs, the IFOs, or what they now call the aerial phenomenons. All right, but nevertheless, the stronghold that, I, that, that this man has had on his people was that whiteness that he created in the 1600s, all right? Esau classified himself as white, all right? So that he can have property, he can have a right to bear arms, he can have all these other BS, you know, things that he has in this society, you know, which birthed this white privilege, all right? And which also birthed the superiority complex of their people and the inferiority complex of our people, all right? But through the truth, through us coming back into the law, statutes and commandments, see how Bashem and how Shai, knowing that we're the real royalty, knowing that we're the real salt of the earth, knowing that we are the chosen people of the Most High, this man's whiteness is vanishing away. Right along with his, the acts that he's committed and the atrocities that he's committed around the world, all right, dropping bombs on the whole damn earth, robbing everybody of their resources, all right, robbing his own people, all right, and then putting up the fucking uh, Brady Bunch and the Partridge family on TV like everything is fine and dandy, man. But he can't do that anymore because everybody has the World Wide Web. Everybody has the YouTube. Everybody has the Internet. Everybody's seeing everything at all times, man. And, and the culprit is you, all right? So that whiteness and that, and that false imagery that he has set up, you know, and that, 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 um, that marquee that he has gave himself is just vanishing away, man, because this man is the devil. But it all starts with us bringing out this truth, man, and exposing this bastard. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to get into some scriptures. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 1. It says, Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Mashiach. All right? It says Christ, but we, we, we don't say Christ because we know that Christ is a false God. It's not the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. All right? It's supposed to say Mashiach, which is anointed for the first time listening. For the first time listeners. All right? It says, Who in the presence of who in presence and base among you, but being absent and bold toward you, I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherefore I think to be bold against some which think which think of us as we walked according to the flesh, and we don't walk according to the flesh. We I hold uh we wholly depend on your by Shimmy how shot. The scriptures say, curse is he who puts confidence in the flesh, man. Who, who makes flesh his arm, all right? This is um, verse 3. It says, for we walk in the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are, car are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. And that's what we've been doing. We've been pulling down the strongholds. And that main stronghold has been the whiteness, man. The whiteness. All right, that Esau is pure. He's just this, this some creature that God's gift to earth. He's not God's gift to earth. Israelites are God's gift to earth. We disobeyed the Most High's commandments and he put us in slavery. All right? It says, casting down imaginations and everything that exalted himself, itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought through the obedience of Yahweh Shai. And that's what we do. And that's why we don't go after the lust of the flesh, man, because we bring them thoughts into obedience. Uh, 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 of Yahweh Shai, all right, but casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and everything that Esau has, all right, 
in, in every ideology and every way of life that he presents to the earth is against you, how about Shimmy, how was shot? And that's why the Lord says, Surely the turning of thy things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay in the book of Isaiah, the 29th chapter. All right, because that's what this man did. <clears throat> he turned the whole world upside down, man. And he made everybody, everybody he can except the elect. Antichrist, man. The Antichrist is not some dude floating out the sky with some fucking horns. It's everybody who's against the Messiah, man. And against the way of life, man. All right, the scriptures say, he that believeth on me, the, the Messiah said out of his own mouth, Yahweh Shai, who the Lord is falsely called, who the world falsely calls Christ, the Lord, he said, uh, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Nobody on the earth believes on the Lord, Yahweh Shai, as the scripture has said, except the elect, man. You know, knowing that he's a dark brown skinned man, a so called Negro from the tribe of Judah. All right, that's coming to save only the, the elect of the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, he ain't coming to save everybody. He's coming with great judgments that, that are well deserved for the atrocities that's committed against us on this planet. All right, nobody believes on the Lord, as the scripture has said. E everybody outside of the elect is the, the, the Antichrist, man. That's why the scripture said there'd be many Antichrists, man. All right, especially you damn bums that depart from the faith. But nevertheless, as this man's whiteness fades, as his stronghold is broken, all right, this, this man is looking to fight. That's why Revelation says what? The devil has come upon you. Revelation 12, matter of fact, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Because it's, it's a key point to this thing, man. And this is what's going on right now. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, well, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And that devil is talking about Esau Edom. The, the nation of people who classify themselves as white. That's why he said, The devil is coming upon you with great wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. All right, this is his kingdom. The end of his kingdom is at hand. That's why you see us being able to, to preach this gospel, all right? You you ain't seeing no more signs on the, on, on, the, on the doors like back in the 40s and the 50s said, no niggas, no dogs, no Mexicans, all right? This man's kingdom is fading. It's a transition to power plan, and this man ain't going down without swinging, man. This man is going, look, he can't defame us anymore. He can't deface us anymore. Everybody knows the truth. Everybody knows he's the devil. All right, so 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 when his slander don't work, this man, which is his lies and deceits, that's one of his gifts. All right, the word double means the deceiver, man. He fits the bill of that. All right, Job nine and twenty four, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? But since Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai brought the truth back out to the to the forefront. Revealing himself to his secret, revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. We putting this man on fucking blast, man. He can't do nothing but revert to his natural blessing, which is the sword, man. That's the best gift he has, man. The art of war. That's why he flexes his military might. He flexes his atomic bombs and all this other BS that he got for you, man. All right, Esau is is the, is the father of the sword, man. This man is Cain, man, that threshing instrument, that weapon, all right? He's the descendant of Cain, man, but he's going to act up, all right, with his, with, with his, uh, his, his, uh, his whiteness fading away because uh, that's just the time we're living in. This is Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus in the Bible, 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what you're witnessing. The kingdom is being translated from one people to another. All right? This man, <laughs> this man is losing his grip on the planet because these prophecies are coming to pass, man. And who's been preaching these prophecies? The men of Great Millstone, starting with the elders and apostles on down, man. We ain't into that black unconsciousness bullshit. We ain't into no aspect of being black, man. That's a damn... Hey, being black is a is an offshoot of white supremacy, man. Being black is what's tying you dumbass niggas down, man. 
ain't nothing black about us, man. We the Hebrew Israelites waking up into our culture, man. And we destroying this man, man. Hey, like Esau says, the pen is mightier than the sword. Hey, guess who got the pen now? They said they, they had, used to have a saying saying it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Hey, the rabbit got something better. Now he got the pen, man. All uh, right, through the spirit and power, how about Shimmy, how shy. This is um, the wisdom of Solomon, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as has afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And, and that's what they did. They afflicted the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American men and women and children and made no account of our labors, man, because everything that this society has, we, 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 we brought it here. All right, you got it from the blood of the Latinos and Native Americans, and the, and the backs and the labor uh, uh, of the Negroes, man. All right, and you made no account of this labor, man. You, you saw didn't create nothing but the patent office, man. All right, and then I know you you these see these Edomites, man. These people who classify themselves as white, they wish they can push the nigger button, but if they just push the button. Well, all niggas didn't exist no more. They wouldn't have anything. They wouldn't have a stoplight. They wouldn't have a toilet. They wouldn't have a refrigerator. These people are fucking heathens, man. All right? It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for because they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. First starting with us getting this truth, man. You know, they spent trillions of dollars, man, to create this this, this, this this superiority complex, man. They killed millions of people, all right, to erase the name of Israel, man. Like it says in Psalms, the 83rd chapter, man, crafty counsel, but it ain't going to work, man. You know why it ain't going to work? I'm going to get it right now, all right? The whiteness has faded, man. The Hebrew Israelites have the breath of life, like it says in the book of Revelation. We back on our feet, man, and this devil, <laughs> this man is through, man. <laughs> the whiteness is faded, man. Let me get that. What's that? Uh, bear with me, you know. I ain't really had nothing planned, man. You know, this is just off the top. I was just in the spirit, man. You know, put a lesson together, man. He saw as he losing his grip, man. God, here you go right now. This is of uh, Jeremiah 31 and 35. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. The, the Yahweh of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from me, said Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So Esau can't take us out, man, because the Lord ain't going to take us out. You still see the ordinance of the moon, the stars, all right, the light for the day, the light for the night, all right. The, the Israel is still on earth as a nation of people, and we're in the condition that the Lord said we'd be. And when he came back, we went into slavery. We waking up. Now the Lord is on his way back to deliver us, man. Thus saith Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured, which it can't, and the foundations of the earth stretched out beneath, I will also cast off the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith Yahweh. Behold, the day shall come, saith Yahweh, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Hanael into the gate of the corner. All right, so Israel ain't cast off, all right, from the Most High. All right, Esau tried to eradicate us, man, <laughs> and he tried to press the nigger button, but he couldn't, man. Hey, this this man is faded, man. Israel waking back up, man, and it's, and we coming into some uh, very, very, very perilous times, man. All right, and the scriptures say that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, the strength of thy salvation, man. You people better wake the fuck up, man, and get the message, no matter how it's delivered. All right, but with that being said, call halal me, howl by shimmy, howl shy by shimmy, kakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who will well, to the hopeful elect, shalom.